CH1. You are listening at FameTV.info. Chapter 1, Hello, Goodbye, Honey, 1, Translator. Yan Nei, at the moment of my death, once I had accepted it, what flashed through my mind was my first meeting with my husband. At once glance, I knew that he was an impressive man, and he had a sharp look in his eyes that seemed as if he could see right through you, the voice that flowed out of his shapely lips was so filled with murderous intent that I shuddered to my very core. At that time, all I could think of was that he could speak Korean so well despite being a foreigner, perhaps my thoughts could be read through my expression. As if he was baffled by the sight before him, my husband had murmured, Ah! What's this now? But his bewilderment did not erase the domineering air about him. Leisurely, he looked at me up and down with narrowed eyes as though he was an army officer sizing me up, looking to see whether I was an enemy or not that my husband was a world.famous S.class esper. And besides being an S.class esper, he could also wield dual elements, making him the most coveted rare esper, what kind of match rate, with just a B.class. Having just manifested as a guide, I met him through fate.like coincidence, and I was urged to take a matching test with him. The match rate didn't make sense to me either, and so I was left speechless.at that time, my husband was shocked as well. And, I wonder, was it only an illusion that he felt relieved by this, ever since then, the fact that I became my husband's dedicated guide felt like a dream. For a while, I often stared blankly into the air, just trying to process this. Because of how unhappy I had been all my life, I couldn't believe that such luck had graced me here, the reason why I, as a mere B.class guide, was allowed to become the dedicated guide of an S.class esper was due to the overwhelmingly high match rate that we had, usually, the matching rate that's considered to be high between an esper and a guide was only about 80%, however. My husband and I had a match rate of 99%, just barely short of 100% that it was a match rate that had never before existed. It was such a fascinating phenomenon that not only Korea had been interested, but even the entire world but somehow, my husband disliked me from the very beginning. His facial expressions, his actions and his words, everything told me that he was uncomfortable around me and displeased by me. It felt as if he had drawn a line between us already, with a clear threat not to come close that I still don't know why it was like this, but, compared to your esper's words, it seems like superior's words are more important to you. In the end, you're the same as the lot of them. He had always looked at me with disproving eyes, but at that moment, his face had grown blurry in front of me. The vicious words stabbed into me like daggers that that's why I had never even dreamed that I'd marry him. Even despite being his dedicated guide, I wouldn't have ever dared hope for it, however, when it was him who asked me to marry him, all the sadness and despair that I had felt until then vanished in an instant, and I dreamed of a pink future for us ahead, when he proposed to me, his expression had been stern, but his blue eyes blazed with the fires of intensity with just that one gaze. I lay bare my entire life that it's just, even though I knew that something like this would happen, I loved him. That's why, after we had been wed, my husband's attitude didn't change that much, but I was happy. Even after a hard day's work while being battered by other guides and my direct superiors, I just had to come home, and there, I'd be able to meet him, just shoulder all the burdens in the world by yourself, why don't you? Although the words that left his lips were as sharp as daggers, it was fine that there's a common saying that goes like this. The one who loves the other more has no choice but to give in. I knew this was the case for me, and so, I tried to endure and bear everything that came my way that I fell in love with him at first sight, how could I not love him, his tall, lean physique was I dot catching. He looked to be around 190 centimeters tall, yet he was rippling with muscles that it seemed as though he could pounce at any given moment. Whenever I guided him, just thinking about the hand that held me tight thrilled me to the point that my fingertips would tremble, beneath his black fringe, his high, angular nose was the perfect shape, and his almond-shaped eyes were wide and deep-set. His blue irises were dazzling enough to bewitch anyone who'd look into those eyes that I wasn't sure whether it was because of his abilities, but there were times when his eyes would flash red. That's why, mysteriously, his eyes looked like a deep violet hue at first glance, the cold, intimidating atmosphere around him was superior. 
It's as if he was practiced in the art of controlling people with just the very tip of his fingers. And his voice. Just hearing that deep baritone once felt as if it would echo in the very depths of one's soul, and hearing it made chills run down my spine that I in the first place, it might have been my fault. It was my greed for him that led to this. T slash N, the guide slash Esper concept isn't very well. Known, but to sum it up, Espers have very heightened senses and superhuman powers. They use their skills to fight monsters or anything else that's a threat to humankind. These powers very often lead to zoning out or rampage, and they can only return from these states of mind is with the help of a guide, there is a societal institution that's usually established in dot universe, and it falls under either a military or non dot military bureaucracy. They're the ones who determine the letter dot grade class of the espers and guides, apart from that, there is also the concept of a match rate, which would determine the compatibility of the espers and guides. The higher the match rate is, the better the guide will be able to suit the esper.in fan lore, espers, and guides are also described to have somewhat of a mystical calling, where they are destined to find each other and be together. A, faded pair, if you will. T slash N2. BTW, hi. Thank you so much for reading I've been waiting to pick up this novel since forever, but I'm glad that it's finally here. I hope you guys like it too because of how unique the concept is with our usual transmigration slash European ambience romance novel side note. This novel's chapters are half chapters, but they'll be numbered normally to make things simple, similar to how Remarried Empress does it. Moving forward, I'll be posting often to compensate for the length. Listen to the full novel at fametv.info, direct link in the description.